Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to create your own abstract acrylic painting. My desk wasn't big enough for the size of canvas that I had so I had to prep the floor to make sure that I didn't get paint all over it and then I used these pins to lift the canvas off the ground. I always use a spirit level to check that the canvas is even before putting on any paint or else it will just run off to one side and make the whole thing look ridiculous. For this painting I used Winsor Newton Galleria acrylic paints but you can use any acrylic paints that you've got lying around the house. It's more about the consistency that you get once you mix it with water. It's just a bit of trial and error to be honest. Once you've got your paints mixed and ready to go, it's time for the fun bit and that's getting the paint on the canvas. It's entirely up to you how you do this. This is just how I decided to do it this particular day. Here you can see me using my hair dryer to help spread the paint across the canvas. This would normally work really well but I didn't have quite enough water in my acrylic paint so I had to go back and remix a few of them. This is actually a commission for a friend of mine at work so he had picked out the colours. I would have personally had a bit more white in there but he wanted it to be mainly blues and greens and a bit of gold. It's at this point of the painting where I'll then go round with a brush and make sure that all the edges are covered. Some people like to have the drips hanging over the edge and that's absolutely fine, it's just personal preference. Once I've got the base layer down, I'll then go in with some extra tools, whether it's just using some excess paint from the cup or using my paintbrush, just to add in those finer details and really finish the painting off.
At this stage of the painting, the centre looked a little bit odd and I wasn't too sure what to do with it, so I left it for a little while and I actually went back off camera and made it much, much darker to try and make the centre sort of pop a little bit more. I love the effect that you can create by blowing the paint in certain directions. It gives a much more intricate sort of flow than using the hair dryer, so that's what you can see me doing here. Something that unfortunately you didn't see me using was the blowtorch and I used that to get these lovely cells throughout the painting. Um, it was a bit scary to use at first but once you get the hang of it, it's brilliant. I've not found a way of creating acrylic flow paintings without mess. I don't know how people do it, so yeah, my room ended up a total state, but all worth it in the end. The painting took around three days to dry completely and once it was, I decided to apply a layer of varnish to keep it protected. So that's it guys, that's the painting finished. I'm just waiting on this layer of varnish to dry and then I'll be able to deliver it to my friend and I hope he's really happy with it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and it encourages you to maybe have a go at acrylic pour painting as well. It's really, really fun. I recommend it. So yeah, have a good one. Bye.